Hi, welcome to Anaprime Recap. You and your friends have a plane crash and end up on an island full of giant insects that feed on humans. We are in the anime Kaiochu Retu, the island of giant insects. Our tenebrous story begins at an airport, where Mitsumi, a girl who loves insects, and her classmates wait for the flight that will take them on a school trip. They just didn't count on having a plane crash. Many died in the fall, but there are still a few survivors, and Mitsumi is one of them. After waking up on the beach, she spots the wreckage of the plane. There were pieces of metal and luggage scattered everywhere. Mitsumi is terrified to see that scenario and, as if the devastating situation in which she found herself were not enough, the girl is still faced with a human hand separated from its body. Her only hope now is to head through the forest looking for other survivors. In the middle of the woods, the young woman meets Matsuoka, the captain of the school's softball team. Together, they set off in search of other classmates who may have also survived the accident. Elsewhere in the forest, a group of students is gathered. They found a freezer with several drinks, which could indicate that there are more people living on the island. They try to use their cell phones to call for help, but the devices are wet and not working. Only Chitose's cell phone, which is waterproof, is working. Everyone is excited by the news, but soon discovers that there is no signal on the island. Ino walks away from the group as she says that nature is calling. And suddenly, her classmates hear the girl's screams. Mitsumi and Matsuoka were walking near the place and they also heard Ino's terrible scream. The students approach to see what is happening and everyone is paralyzed with fear when they realize that it was a giant butterfly. The bug injects its proboscis into Ino's skin. Then, another terrifying creature like that appears and introduces its sucking mouth part into the girl's mouth. They suck all the water and nutrients from the student's body, leaving her completely dry. After feeding on Ino, the insects head towards Mami. Two classmates try to help her, but they too end up being butchered and sucked to death. The two girls who were separated from the group arrive at the scene and are faced with this bizarre scene. Mitsumi, the insect lover, is surprised to see a butterfly the size of an elephant. Matsuoka attacks one of those creatures with a knife, but no damage is caused. A single blade cannot pierce the exoskeleton of an insect of that size. Chitose, Mitsumi's best friend, is also being attacked. To try to save her, the girl has a brilliant idea. She runs towards the butterfly and, with the help of a hairspray and a lighter, Mitsumi burns the killer bug. Her skills and knowledge will be essential to the group. Now that the students are free of those monsters, they start to make a plan to get out of that sinister island and the only way to do that is to survive for three days, which is the minimum time expected for rescue to arrive. As they discuss the plan, Kai hears the sound of a helicopter. The youngsters run towards the noise, everyone is happy believing they will be saved. But Chitose is the first to realize something was wrong. She pushes Mitsumi, and by the time the girl looks towards her friend, it is too late. It was a fierce giant wasp that made that sound similar to a helicopter, but it had already captured Chitose and injected her with her paralyzing venom. Matsuoka and Mitsumi want to save the girl, but they are stopped by Atsushi, who has elected himself as the leader of that group. Mitsumi manages to convince them to rescue Chitose by remembering that the girl's cell phone was waterproof, so even without a signal, it was possible to use the GPS to check the location where they were. That way, Mitsumi would be able to predict which insects would be inhabiting that island, which increases the group's chances of survival. So, they head towards the wasp's nest, where Mitsumi believes her friend has been taken and will likely serve as a receptacle for the insect's eggs. They find a house in the middle of the bushes, which was being used as a nest by the giant wasps. The group enters the house and, after searching the rooms, Mitsumi is faced with a situation capable of making her nauseous. Her classmates are being eaten alive by wasp larvae. They are being kept alive until the larvae finish feeding on their innards, and since those monsters release substances that give pleasure to their victims, the students have not tried to escape. Atsushi and Jino, seeing that monstrous scene, began to exterminate the larvae. Seconds later, the young people being eaten started screaming in pain and despair. As the larvae were killed, they were no longer given pain-inhibiting substances. They run out of that place, and none of them managed to stay there after hearing their colleagues' death screams. But Mitsumi doesn't give up, she still wants to look at the other nests and continue on the mission to find her friend Chitose. Outside the house, the students spot a new wasp carrying its prey. This time, Akira, Atsushi's friend, was captured. The boy runs to rescue his friend, and the wasp turns around and tries to attack Atsushi, who is saved by Mitsumi. The insect heads towards its nest carrying Akira, and Atsushi takes a powerful and lethal pipe and goes after it. There he even finds his friend, but what the boy didn't count on was that the giant wasp would be waiting for him. He manages to fend off the attack and falls to the first floor, where he finds Mitsumi. The girl sprays the animal with hairspray, but apparently the effect is temporary. 
They manage to outwit the wasp and Atsushi rescues Akira. In that same nest, Mitsumi finds Chitose. The girl is unconscious and Mitsumi cannot carry her alone. She then asks Atsushi for help, but the boy just cowardly takes his friend and leaves. On the way out, he encounters another insect, and still manages to escape through the hole in the wooden floor. The wasp heads towards the girls, Mitsumi struggles to carry her friend to a passage where they could escape. As they are about to be caught, another wasp appears and attacks the animal that Mitsumi had sprayed hair on. Just then, Matsuoka appears and rescues the girls. The house is taken over by wasps that were attracted by the smell of the spray. Now they need to find serum to give to their friends who have been infected with wasp venom. Kai finds a map of the island, which shows that there is a hospital nearby. Everything looked perfect. They walk towards the place, but on the way they encounter a new setback. Mami spots a huge tick on Jino's back. Mitsumi manages to get it out, but it might be too late. The girl has already been bitten. According to Mitsumi, a bite from that tick can cause a viral infection and kill her. As if the situation wasn't bad enough, they ended up in a tick nest. The creatures took over the whole place. In a single tree you can find dozens of them with their red and scary eyes. Mitsumi instructs colleagues to fold their arms, hide their hands, and bend over to avoid rising body temperature and releasing carbon dioxide. That way, they could get out of there undetected by those monsters. Mitsumi throws a stone heated with her body heat to attract them and the group is able to follow their way. From time to time, the girl throws a new heated stone to get away from ticks. As they are about to leave that deadly nest, the students meet their teacher. The woman looks like a zombie and her face is taken over by those creatures. The scene is disturbing. Mami despairs to see her sensei like that and runs through the forest. Mitsumi has the idea of using the teacher as bait, after all, the woman could no longer survive. She knocks her down with a piece of wood and thousands of ticks take over her body. Now that the insects have been attracted, they will only have one chance to escape. Fortunately, they were able to make it out alive, but the teacher was not so lucky. At a certain time during the night, the group arrives at the hospital, where they find serum vials to give to their infected friends. A strange creature appears walking under Akira's skin. Has he been contaminated with some kind of parasite? While investigating the building, Kai finds the power room and manages to turn on the hospital's lights. He also finds emergency supplies and takes it to his colleagues. The group intends to remain there for another two days, until rescue arrives. When the situation seemed to be under control, Akira wakes up. The boy begins to struggle and his eyes take on a bizarre look. His orbits pop out and Akira completely loses control of his body. He runs madly out of the hospital and up to the end of the helipad, where helicopters take off and land. Atsushi goes after his friend, even though Mitsumi warns him that he is infected with a deadly parasite. When he reaches the top of the helipad, the boy starts making loud noises that ended up attracting predators. Mitsumi asks his colleagues to enter the hospital, but before they can go anywhere, an insect with giant wings and claws appears. He goes towards Akira and brutally kills the boy, cutting off his head. The boy's body falls in front of Atsushi, who is devastated by what just happened. Jino pulls Atsushi and they both run towards the hospital. Behind them are the rest of the group. The couple arrives at the building first and, after entering, Jino locks the door. Mitsumi asks the girl to let them in, but she refuses. Jino's excuse was that the classmates could also be infected with the parasite, but we all know that the traitor locked the door simply to let the girls die. The giant insect did not give up on attacking the girls. The monster throws something at Mami's face, and when the girl turns to look at what it is, she comes across Akira's head. Inside the hospital, Chitose is waking up but still not able to move her body. Atsushi is still upset, the boy cannot accept his friend's death. Chitose asks Jino where Mitsumi is and the girl says that her classmates were eaten by bugs. Of course she doesn't believe this story and starts calling for her friend. Just then, she hears Mitsumi's screams outside. Jino and Atsushi intended to take advantage of Chitose's immobility to do terrible things to her. But luckily for the student, Kai appears and knocks the two delinquents down, hitting their heads with a fire extinguisher. Mitsumi, Matsuoka and Mami were still outside the hospital. When they were about to be captured, the boy opens the door and the girls are saved. They try to come up with a new plan to get rid of that bizarre creature, that was still looking for them outside the building. Mitsumi sets a risky strategy to save her friends and asks for Kai's help. The girl wants to attract the attention of the giant insect using the halogen lights on the helipad. She manages to get out of the building and go up the tower without drawing the monster's attention. Upstairs, she wraps a tarp around the lights, gets down the tower, and using a sound alarm inside her bag, she catches the insect's attention. Her objective is to attract it directly to the top of the helipad. Mitsumi tries to dodge the brutal attacks of that immense wasp, 
that destroys parts of the building with each attack. Finally, she manages to reach the base of the tower. The girl pulls the rope to remove the tarp and the animal is drawn to the lights. When the insect lands on the tower, Kai increases the power of the lights, causing a short circuit. The creature is electrocuted and dies immediately. Due to Mitsumi's plan, the students manage to survive their first day on the island. At dawn, they make their way to another safer place. If they remain there, they run serious risks of being attacked by other insects. As deserved, Jino and Atsushi are abandoned by their colleagues and left behind. And under Chitoza's new leadership, the students set off on another adventure. Will they be able to stay alive for two more days, until rescue arrives? What would you do to survive the island of giant insects? So what did you think of this anime? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more horror anime. See you next time.